In this video, we review how to subtract sign numbers. And so let's begin with an example here, 12 minus 20. Uh, and remember what subtraction is. In subtraction, we are taking away. We are taking away. So my advice here is to think of it this way. Taking away 20. If someone's taking away $20 from you, isn't that the same as someone giving you a bill uh, for twenty dollars, right? Gaining a debt of twenty, or in this case, gaining a negative twenty. So as we do a problem like this, twelve minus twenty, taking away is the same as gaining a negative. So we can rewrite that subtraction problem as an addition problem. And now, understanding what we already understand about adding sign numbers, uh, we can work that problem out. In the case of twelve plus negative twenty. We would take their difference. 20 minus 12 is 8. Uh, and then we keep that sign, which is negative 8. So that's how you want to think of subtraction. Subtraction is taking away. So taking away a positive number is the same as adding on or gaining a negative number. Same idea here where we have negative 8 minus 15. Taking away 15 is the same as gaining a negative 15. And then we apply our rules for adding sign numbers. They have the same sign, so we add them. 8 and 15 is 23, and we keep the negative sign. You really want to think of them this way, because if you try to memorize specific rules for subtracting, it's going to get really confusing really quickly. But just changing the subtraction over to addition, uh, which we can write out right now. Later on, we can always uh, do that step in our head. Uh, is the best way to approach them. Okay, let's consider this example here. 12 minus a negative 15. 12 minus a negative 15. Here we're taking away a negative. So taking away a negative is the same as someone gaining that amount. Right? If you were in debt, you owed somebody $15. So you had $12, but then you owed $15 and then someone takes that debt away, that's the same as someone giving you $15. Because once you got the $15, you could settle up your debt and you'd be okay. So someone taking away a debt of 15 is the same as you gaining that amount of money. So we can change that minus minus into 12 plus 15 and then work out 12 plus 15 to be 27. Consider this example, negative 7 minus a negative 20. Again, taking away a negative is the same as gaining that amount. So it becomes negative 7 plus 20. And then we can do our addition. Since they have different signs, we subtract them. 20 minus 7 is 13. And because 20 is bigger, we make that positive 13. Okay, so if you just remember these two ideas, taking away a positive becomes plus the negative. Taking away a negative becomes plus the positive, uh, then uh, you should have no trouble with subtraction. Subtraction problems are really just another version of addition.